Today we start an exciting new restoration of an American icon, an Airstream travel trailer. Our 1970 Airstream land yacht has seen a lot of miles and some beautiful scenery, but it's in some serious need of repair and upgrade. Join us as we dig in and bring this thing back to life. Welcome to Classic Rides. I'm Kevin Tates. We've got a big project on our hands. 27 feet of project. A 1970 Airstream Land Yacht Travel Trailer. Ours is a popular Overlander model, which dates back to the mid-1950s. Our Overlander is a wonderful example of a long line of classic Airstream travel trailers. Today, we'll take a look at the rich history of Airstream, inspect our RV systems, LP gas, plumbing, electrical, and our hitching system. Then we'll begin our restoration by gutting some of that interior. If you've ever seen one of these beauties on the road, I'm sure it's caught your attention. They're as striking today as they were when they were first introduced to America's highways back in 1936. Were well, you probably interested to see what's inside it? Let's take a look. Well, this is pretty cool and surprisingly roomy. Although all the different Airstream models are laid out differently, they all have a living area, a kitchen, sleeping quarters, and some sort of a bath. All the comforts of home that you can take on the road. But one of the cool features of our Airstream is these VistaView windows. Now some of the VistaViews have a double pane and there's a problem with condensation getting in between the two panes. Ours are single pane, so we don't have that problem. Now in 1969, Airstream changed from the original Zolotone paint finish to this vinyl wall covering. Now ours is discolored and it's extremely difficult to take off. But the good news is there are some great paint finishes that are specially formulated for vinyl. And the previous owner has installed these inexpensive window blinds. Now we can replace these with some wooden or aluminum window blinds. Much better. Now this is our gaucho sofa that pulls out into a bed. We could replace these missing cushions, repair our frame and have the whole thing recovered, or we could just take this whole unit out and replace it with the sofa. The one thing you want to consider with that is not to add too much weight to your trailer. And here's our Airstream control unit. We've got a clock, a barometer, a thermometer, an ammeter, which is sometimes mispronounced amp meter. It measures current, it's an ammeter. Also a battery level check and the rest of our control switches. Now some of these things aren't working right now, but we're going to see what we can do to take care of that during our restoration. Our original lighting is in nice condition, but we've got all kinds of headroom here, so we can upgrade to modern track lighting if we want. But these are very difficult to come by and they're in such great condition that we're going to hang on to them, maybe resell them later. Our carpet is stained and fraying at the edges, so we'll pull that up and consider installing wood, laminate, or cork flooring instead of the carpet. The windows all work pretty well, they just need some maintenance and new weather seals. I've also checked all the lights. We'll replace light bulbs and fixtures as necessary. Our kitchen is laid out just like a household kitchen. I like this fold out, but I don't like the corners. We could round these off and we could round off all the corners on our countertops. And our countertops, well, They've seen better days. They could be refinished. We could recover the laminate. We could tile this. There's a lot of different great projects that we could do here. We're thinking of covering our dirty kitchen walls with an aluminum backsplash. And we've still got our original gas oven. Now this thing is huge. We could put a microwave in here and really utilize this space. Now this thing is valuable. They're hard to find and it'll clean up good. So we could resell that and recoup some of our restoration investment. Let's look in the bedroom. This is our bedroom area. Now this is also a gaucho bed. It pulls out to give you more sleeping area. Now these covers are worn. They're probably original. These can be replaced and your seat foam can be replaced too and recovered to any style you want. That's one of the beauties of Airstream is you can restyle these things or do anything you want to suit your personality or any kind of design. The bedroom and kitchen cabinets are wood veneer. They're dirty.